Hey guys, Tony Smith with Dennis and Yachty, and today we're on the Baglietto Pan Am. This is a 40 meter boat. We're just kind of exploring it in real time. Beautiful boat here at the Can Yacht Festival. Some great things about Baglietto, they're a Italian shipyard. Any of their yachts are all custom built to the owner's specifications. So when we come in here, a few things that we notice right away are the huge windows. It does have a nice cutout here, so you kind of get an infinity view when you're out on the ocean. Obviously a nice area here in the main salon, and then you get this huge fold up, fold down TV. So pretty cool. I also want to mention that all the vegetation and plants on the boat are real. It's also stabilized, so it'll live for a couple years. You just have to dust it. So moving forward here, we've got the great uh, dining area. It looks like this table set up to uh, fit 10. Here's a full model of the Pan Am um, as she lays. Really cool looking boat. Very interesting chandelier there. And again, we get the infinity view the whole way. Moving forward, we're gonna head up to the master. Uh, this master is configured with actually two different staterooms in it. Um, one is configured for the owner's daughter. And then we're gonna see the, uh, the main master here. Moving forward into the uh, master, what you're gonna see is on the port side, they've got plenty of storage here. And it's kind of an asymmetrical design. On the starboard side, we have our, uh, our bed. You've got a large hull side window, storage down below, as well as a desk. And a really cool feature on the boat is the integrated TV that almost seems like it's part of the structure of the boat itself. Moving forward into the ensuite bathroom, you see on the port side, I've got a really cool rain shower there. I've got uh, two sink basins. And then over on the starboard side, we have the uh, toilet and uh, bidet. So really nice, elegant uh, design here for our ensuite uh, head. Exiting the master, there's one other feature I gotta point out. On the hull side windows, these are actually articulate and they lift up. So the boat can completely open up and you get a fresh breeze through here. Let's go ahead and see the rest of the boat. And next, we're gonna check out the uh, guest staterooms. So we're gonna head down this companionway. Coming down these stairs, we're gonna enter the uh, guest staterooms. And what you see in the aft, we have uh, mirrored staterooms here. Each stateroom has its own ensuite bathroom, as well as these are really nice athwart ship bunks. I've got some bright hull side windows here and integrated built-in TV. Nicely finished out vessel. And then again, dedicated ensuite head with a separate infinity rain shower. Really nice design, feels very rugged. Moving forward down the hallway, we've got two more cabins here. These both have uh, two single beds and they're mirrored on the port and starboard. Again, they have an ensuite head, rain shower, as well as a bidet. Last feature I want to point out down here is this mirror is actually a hidden door. So behind here, I've got complete laundry and access to the crew part of the ship. So we've got crew quarters, crew mess, and all of that connects up to the pantry on the port side as well. Closing this door here, we're gonna head up through the spiral staircase to the main part of the boat. Before we check out the exterior of the boat, I wanna take you through on the port side here. This leads through the pantry area and then up through a spiral staircase up to the captain's helm. So on the port side, I'm gonna move up and I've got a really convenient little pantry area. Over towards the center line of the ship, I've got all my glassware. Outboard, I've got a coffee station and service. Watertight door to the exterior of the boat. And then we're gonna skip over the helm section and take a look at the mini galley over on the port side. On the forward side of the galley, we have access to our uh, wine storage, as well as access down to the crew quarters. Exiting the mini galley, I'm gonna head up to the wheelhouse and check out the captain's helm. So moving up to the very impressive helm station, you'll see a lot of automotive inspired. There's literally carbon fiber all over this boat. Super cool. And this is a jet powered boat. It has three 2000 kilowatt water jets on it. So you have your two primaries that you use to steer the boat, as well as a booster jet to really make this boat go fast. And if you're not fortunate enough to be the captain of this boat, you can still enjoy the view from this lovely carbon fiber table. So as we exit the wheelhouse, you'll notice we've got uh, full ship systems here, as well as push button controls. Walking out onto the upper deck, I am blown away. This thing is party central. 
in the center of this boat, it has a custom DJ center. So the DJ can set up right here. We've got speakers all throughout both sides. We've got day beds and movable furniture. Moving towards the aft, you'll see what I mean with these beautiful built-in day beds here and then movable furniture. Up on top, I've got more carbon fiber influences on the boat and there's two really nice openings and a glass up above. Just aft of the hard top, the party continues with an integrated TV supported by carbon fiber mounts and a huge infinity swimming pool. This pool is like nothing I've ever seen before. It's motorized and it gives you a current so you can swim continuously and get a workout in when the party takes a break. The last part of the sun deck that I want to show you is this huge day bed, as well as my flagpole that has integrated speakers as well. Being in this area is super relaxing. The day beds are aft facing and I've got glass that surrounds it so I have an infinity view. Moving forward on the port side, we're gonna check out the forward deck. Moving forward, I've got a really incredible area up here. There's just some wonderful teak. You can see into the helm area and it has another day bed. Forward of that, there's a crane that lifts in the water toys. Something that really stands out to me is this carbon fiber and uh, detail put into the lifelines. It's a really robust, masculine boat. The bow on this boat has two completely different areas that have a totally separate feeling. We have the sunbed up top, but down below here, this is really where the functional uh, mechanical space is. We've got a tender here with a davit and jet ski. Forward of that, I've got two large uh, windlasses and all of the uh, anchor gear for the boat. Leaving the bow of the boat, we're gonna head back and check out the swim platform. Normally your aft deck and swim platform are connected, but on this boat, it's entirely different. Here, I've got a lovely day bed, some fire, and then stairs down to the beach club. Now this is a really impressive area. I love this. The entire transom folds up, but it's folded down into the beach club configuration. I've got stairs that lead straight into the ocean, my sea bobs, and then in here is a completely separate beach club with exercise equipment and a lounge area. We don't have a lot of drone footage on this boat, but I wanna reinforce, this thing is a super yacht. At 40 meters, she has so much space on board, I'm really blown away. In addition to the transom that opens up, on either side, we have carbon fiber doors that fold down into the water. So you can have full breeze through this area, and this boat is super connected with the ocean. Leaving the beach club, we're gonna walk back upstairs and check out the aft deck. Stepping back up onto the uh, main deck, a few features that I wanna point out here is the large sun pad in the back. On both sides, I've got a fire system as well as a nice opening so I can get an infinity view out into the ocean. Dining table is probably sufficient for 12 guests or more. A couple other features I wanna point out, two main things is these huge doors here. They're hydraulic and push button actuated. Another thing that I wanna point out is directly here, I've got an access door. So there's three ways to get down to the mechanical space, either from the main salon here, from the port deck, or via the beach club. So coming down this companionway, we're gonna have access directly to the engine room. Down here in the engine room, I've got three MTUs. Now again, these are hydrojet propulsion, 2000 kilowatts per motor. So we've got uh, primaries on the port and starboard, and then a booster motor in the middle. The big upside to this type of propulsion is we've got a cruise speed around 25 knots, and amazingly, a top speed of 31 knots on a 40 meter boat. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Denison, thanks for checking out the 40 meter Pan Am. If you're in the market for a custom Baglietto, please feel free to reach out at the information below.